Hi guys! Good morning! CJ here and on this video, I'll give you my honest review and thoughts regarding the Huawei Mate by PA. So, kanina, sinusubukan ko na naman ulit na i-install yung Google Play Store dito sa P8 and uh, akala ko nasira ko na siya. Looping na lang siya kanina and nakahang na. So, sabi ko, titigilan ko ng gawin na mag-install ng Google Play Store and I'll just proceed with this video to provide the information what, what are the things that I like about this and in regards to the specs. So, in-depth review ang gagawin natin. But before I do that, since you're already here in my channel, might as well subscribe and also hit the notification button, the bell button. So if in case we do uh, have new uploads in this channel, you get notified. So let's go on with the video. So let's proceed with the things that I like. With the chipset, battery life, and processor, I think that's already enough to say that this one is a powerful device. Design-wise, it looks premium and the size is just right. Um, it's actually created as a handheld um, tablet. So, madali lang siyang dalhin and hindi naman siya mahirap hawakan. With the specs that I mentioned for an entry tablet, the price of this one is 5990 when I got it from Lazada. This has 80% screen to body ratio. So, 8 inches yung screen niya and uh, since yung screen to body ratio niya is 80% yung bezels na sa gilid masyado ng maliit actually hindi masyadong maliit ang galing ni Huawei nung ginawa niya na manipis lang yung bezels sa gilid and uh, I like that too Refresh rate dahil um, this one is running with the uh, octa-core Mabilis talaga siya. So, kahit pa mag-open ka ng mag-open ng applications, gamitin mo siya for gaming, wala siyang problema. But, since this one is for schooling, which is minimal yung use lang talaga, so, um, mag maglagay ka lang ng data sa notepad, meron siya mga notepad apps, and yeah, you go to the um, Google application, which you use for, for schooling, walang kaso. I mean, it, this is actually more than enough na gamitin for homeschooling. Huawei also has um, application suggestions on the MatePad D8. They've divided it into six. So, you have here tools. On tools, you have weather, calculator, recorder, clock, support, um, the menu for your SIM card, and also an FM radio. For business, they have here all the applications that you may use, which is already certified with Huawei. Um, for entertainment, ganun din. Um, merong TikTok dyan. So, ikaw na lang magde-decide if you would wanna download it. You have socials, which um, includes um, Viber. Gaming-wise, no issues for offline and online games. Remember, this one is running in an octa-core processor so mabilis ang refresh rate niya no logs whatsoever so thumbs up with that photos are decent not on the best quality but it's decent okay naman siya and also taking videos on this device is okay na rin so let's test kung papano yung video play back niya um, sa YouTube. So, here's a sample video which is one of the videos that I have on my channel. Video playback quality is maganda rin. Sound quality is malakas naman. Um, medyo sabog siya on my ears pero pwede na. Hello? Tita Ping? Can you hear me? So, medyo hindi handa yung kapatid ko with the test call. But, as you see, okay naman yung reception ng calls in both sides. So, let's talk about the things that I don't like. So, iisa lang talaga siya, which is, wala siyang Google Play Store and that's it. If this has Google Play Store, if Huawei has Google Play Store available for the MatePad T8, I'll say that this is 100% perfect. Um, kahit hindi ka na bumili ng MatePad Pro, I, I'll say na pwede na siya talaga. You can already use this one. 
I haven't mentioned that you can also use a mouse and a keyboard on the MatePad D8. Um, it's handheld. Ang ang liit niyang ang ang dali niyang hawakan. And I also tried reading PDFs on this one. So kahit alam mo yon gabi na matutulog ka and uh, you're holding the the MatePad D8. Hindi siya mahirap hawakan. And kahit ma mahulog siya sa mukha mo, hindi siya ganun kasakit kasi it's lightweight. So, since the main purpose of this MatePad D8 is for homeschooling, it actually serves its purpose. 100% goodbye siya on our end. And uh, that's actually my final thoughts and my review for the MatePad D8. Hope you like watching the video. Let me know your comments on the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye!